Yes, yes. Come on in, come on in. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Come on in, come on in.
Spend time with a sister. Yep. I got some folks that said, hold up, we're clocking out right now. Hold on. <laughs> yes, indeed. Make sure you clock out. Hey. We spent a little lunch hour, a little lunch hour. Yes, indeed. Yep. Yes, indeed. I got to wait for my folks. They say, I got to. I got a clock out, ladies. I'm running now. I'm running now. Yep. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, indeed. We've been having a good time, y'all. Make room. Let it work. I'm going to shine the light on your spotlight. Yes, indeed. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, yep. Hey, come on, come on. Come on in, come on in. We'll give them just one more, one more. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, good to see y'all. Good to see all of y'all. Good to see you. God bless you real, real good. And I tell you, Lord have mercy. I am just so excited about uh, dying. Lady dies, real talk. We are real talking, y'all. And before we get into what we want to get in today, let's, where, where, my, where my July babies? Where, where are my birthday babies? It might be your birthday, mama's birthday, daddy's birthday, sister, cousin, brother. Come on, where the, where, hey, hey, here it is. This is your time right there to give them a spotlight. Come on. Where are my July babies? Come on, come on. Yes, sir. Ah, where are my birthday babies? Yes, sir, Tony. I see you, big man. God bless you, bro. Yeah. Where are my birthday babies? Is July, where you at? Come on, come on. July, y'all better come on. Where my Give them shout outs right now. Give them a shout out. Cause guess what? The Leos, we about to take over. Y'all know it's Leo season. Come on. If we've already celebrated them, shout them out the whole month of all July babies. Come on. Where you at? Where my July babies? If it's your birthday, make some noise. Anniversaries, anniversary. I see my niece, uh, Dre. I see you, baby. Love you, love you. 
if you have a birthday, if you have an anniversary, if you celebrating anything, you ought to get excited and put it up on there. Like I said, type it in. And then as you're on, like and share. Like and share, y'all. Y'all like and share. Because we're going to be doing some great things. Again, if you see you see right in front of me, I got some of my merchandise. I got more and more. I can rock my shirt. I got, you know, my, my mugs. I got my hats. I got sweatsuits, sweatshirts. You name it, backpacks. We got all kind of merchandise. So we are doing the daggone thing. And like I said, you know, any kind of anniversary. I was so excited that brother sent me um, an email the other day. And he says, I'm celebrating my 15th year being sober. Come on. Y'all get y'all to get excited. Y'all don't know when to celebrate. Y'all don't know what to celebrate. Huh? Somebody told me they got excited. They're celebrating their eighth year being cancer free. Y'all don't know what to celebrate. You need to celebrate everything. Everything. Even if you celebrating every day, one day at a time, that's a celebration, all right? Okay, I'm okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna come back and get you on that one. But anyway, we're going to get on down with our girl by boy by segment. We're going to talk about it a little bit, just a little bit. And like I said last week, under these lights is real, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I had said, what is success? What does success mean to you? What is success? Success is whatever it is to you. Okay, I, I'm, I lost some of y'all, but I'm going to come back and get you. I'm going to come back and get you. Success is what you deem to be success. It's not what I say it is. Success is what you say it is. Now, success is the accomplishment of an aim or a purpose. That's what success means, right? Now, for example, you may say, I'm successful in getting a promotion on my job, management on my job. That's a, one, that's a wonderful thing. That's your success. But I may say my success, I don't feel successful until I own the company. Okay, y'all. Okay, I'm going to come back and get you. Some of your success, some of your success is dependent. You let it be dependent on other people as opposed to what your success is. You can't, sometimes we can't get no higher than where we can go. You understand what I'm saying? For example, I don't care who you are, what talents you have, what, what it is you do in life. Feel me when I say this. Nobody as, be, as good or better than being you than you. If you be you, the best you that you can be, then you are successful. Now, a lot of times people call their failures not being successful only because they're looking at what he or she is doing. It's not about what he or she is doing. It's about what you do to be the best you that you can be. You see what I mean? For example, like what I'm doing. You, somebody else can get the same mic. They can get the same setup. They can do all these things. But guess what? Nobody can be better at being me than me. You understand what I'm saying? See, so a lot of times, don't the failure, the failure comes when you don't try. When you don't try, you say, oh, well, I can't do it like so-and-so, and I can't be like so-and-so, and such. You're right. You can't. Be the best you that you can be. Compare, be your, your number one fan. Be your number one fan. Be the person, say, you know what? I'm going to do this, this, and then don't stop. Don't stop. Keep trying. Keep doing the daggone thing. That's success. That's really what success is. It's not measured on what I do and what the next person does and how they do stuff. Guess what? You're not in your lane and you're not going to be happy. In order for you to be happy, you're going to have to do you, boo. Okay? Amen, somebody. Y'all go ahead. Check it up right there. You, In order for you to be the most successful you that you can be is you have to be you do you stay in your lane everybody can do another person's thing but the problem is they're not going to be successful in it they're not going to be happy in it you know why because it's not their lane stay in your lane do you boo and you'll be happy you'll be happy everybody's not supposed to be out front 
Some people do better work in the background. You hear what I'm saying? You're better people in the background. Because sometimes when people get titles, they get real. Can I, I'm real talking now. When they get titles, when you put them in positions, then they get real crazy. You hear what I'm saying? But humble yourself. You got to be humble in whatever position you find yourself. But most importantly, be happy with you. That's the success. The success is being happy with you. Getting up every day and say, you know what, me? Call yourself by name. I call, I, I talk to myself, my three favorite people. I talk to myself. I said, Diane, what are we doing today? God, what, what are we doing today? How are we going to work this thing today? You know what I mean? And it's not always a good day. You know, my, you know, hell pop off in my life like everybody else. <laughs> okay, can I real talk it? But guess what? It's all in how you handle the day, you know? Encourage yourself. Encourage yourself. Be you. Stay in your lane. Stay, do what you do. If you're not supposed to be podcasting, don't podcast. If you're not supposed to be a, 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 a singer, don't be a singer. Do what you're supposed to do. Maybe you're supposed to be a weightlifter. Tell me how to get my body right. <laughs> Tell me how to eat right. That's what I need, y'all. I need somebody to come on and talk about that. But anyway, <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. But yeah, those are there's a gazillion things. And everybody, don't let nobody tell you that you do not have a talent and gift. You have both. You have both talents and gifts. You just have to know, find out where it is. And I, de I declare, and if you find out where it is, you'll be the best you that you'll ever be in your entire life. You hear what I'm saying? Which throws me into... You know, don't be a hater. Don't look. I need somebody to get a pen and paper. Write this down. Do not be haters. H A T E R S. Do not be haters. Haters are, write it down, H having, A anger, T toward, E everyone, R reaching, S success. Write that down. Those are haters. Don't be that because everybody has a talent and gift. You are created, you're created to work whatever talent and gift that you have. And everybody, look at me, look at you. Everybody is handsome and you're beautiful. Look at yourself, encourage yourself. You know what I'm saying? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You understand what I'm saying? Because I done seen some beautiful people on the outside, but they're really ugly because that, that shows, <laughs> that inside shows up. You understand what I'm saying? See, so make sure that you stay in your lane and be the best you that you can be. That's how you're successful. If you can get up in the morning, you know, get up, stand up, walk in your right mind, dress yourself, clothe yourself, and then talk to yourself. Okay, let's do this. Hug yourself. Touch yourself. I do all of those things. Why? Because, listen, I love me some me, and I want you to love you some you. Yes, I do. Because you are created. You are created beautiful. You're created to be successful. We're all successful. Our success is dependent on what you think your success level is. Your success by looking at me, if you, that means you woke up this morning. That means you woke, you woke up, not only did you wake up, you woke up in your right mind. You did not lose your mind. <laughs> you still here. We're all still here. And that's by the grace of God. Now that takes me out of the girl boy by boy by segment. Because again, we have too many people that's telling you, I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But guess what? I can tell you you can all day. But if you don't believe that you can, guess what? You won't. You won't. I can say, oh, girl, you can sing. But if you don't believe it, guess what? You can't. <laughs> girl, you can be the this. You can be that. I see your talents. I see your skills. But if you don't have the courage to see it in yourself, guess what? You will not do it. And you will not be successful in it. Because you're looking on so much of So many of us are looking on the outside. I need you to work that inside so that it comes on the outside. That's right, girl. Boom. <laughs>
That's that's the real. That's the real. Stay in your lane, which makes me roll right into my next segment of healthy you, healthy me. Now, a lot of y'all have said, you know, I want you to talk about uh, mental health, mental health. A lot of people want to talk about mental health because that's a big thing. You know, mental health. I always say even the strong, strong people get weak. I don't care who you are. That's from the pulpit to the door, from the outhouse to the White House. Everybody gets weak. Yes, we do. But it's all in how you handle that too. Now, people that have mental issues, right? Get help, baby. Get help. Don't die, don't die on my watch. Life is too short. It's too short. Now, this is the thing. I'm going to real talk right here. And some people going to get mad, but you know I don't care, right? Listen, mental health, if you have mental health issues, right, go to a mental health counselor. I didn't say a pastor because they, pastors, preachers, apostles, bishops, they are not mental health counselors. They are spiritual. That's what they do. When it comes to your mental health, go to a mental health counselor. People that have those letters behind the names. For example, if you break your toe, you're going to go to a doctor, correct? Now, you can go to the pastor if you want to. The most he's going to do is pray for you. But if you want to fix, you're going to have to go to a doctor. And even that doctor knows his lane. If you go to a doctor saying, you know, I got problems with my ears, you know what they're going to do? They're going to send you to an ear, nose, and throat specialist. You understand? See, so mental health, if you have mental health, like my sister Sarita, big ups, baby, she's on here. She got papers. Go to people who have papers. Dr. Vicky, go to people who have papers. She got papers, honey. They went to school. And to me, they have an anointing. That's an anointing that the God has on their life. Yes, they do it as a job. But it's also an anointing on their life to handle the mind. To handle mind issues. Don't be so, don't be so prideful until you know you need help and don't go get it. Go get it. Because I'm, I'm telling you right now, before I, before Lady Die break down, I'm going to be sitting on somebody's chair, laying down, telling you all about my cares and woes, whatever it is. And I don't care who walk in the door. I, you can put, your, you can put your, your, your camera on me. I don't care. But guess what? I'm getting some help. If you need help, get help. You can't pray it away. You can't pray it away. Like, for example, I'm a life coach. That's what I do. I got my papers, life coaching. I'm, I got my papers. I'm a licensed preacher. You know, I have my papers uh, uh, for, for relationship and marital counseling. But guess what? I'm not a mental health counselor. That's what people, that those are their papers. Those are, they have papers for that. I can't tell you about the mind. I can pray for you though. I can pray. Yes, indeed. But please, please people, you have so many people that are out here going to get it information and help for from the wrong people that's why a lot of y'all have problems more problems you're going into these you know not that i'm saying don't talk to you to your your, your, your you know preachers and, and pastors and bishops apostles or whatever people got the name called i'm not saying don't do that but i'm saying if you want professional help you need to go to the professionals amen somebody that's what we need. We need them to go go to professional people. Because some of y'all, y'all go to mother folk, y'all be more jacked up than you started. Your marriage could have been in trouble if you would, I mean, wouldn't have been in trouble if you had went to the right people. The children wouldn't be acting crazy if you had taken them to the right people. You want people to pray stuff away. Talking to God, that's what prayer is. Yes, 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 yes. You know, get your, get your come on now. We got to come to the right people. Get your life right. Because <laughs> some of y'all, y'all going to the wrong folk. And if you want to, I have some wonderful, wonderful people that I know personally. If you want mental health counseling, holler at a sister. Holler at me because we all go through some stuff. We all go through some stuff. You wouldn't take your your, your car, your Benz, your Lex. You wouldn't even take your Pinto to a, to, to a, a preacher. For it, no, that's not a mechanic. Take it to a mechanic. 
And matter of fact, those kind of cars, you're going to take them to a dealer. You understand what I'm saying? So anyways, that, that's it. I'm going to, you know, that's the sister on that part. Boy, bye, girl, bye. You know, healthy me, healthy you. Because we all in this boat together. For real, for real. We all, let me put my glasses on so I can holler back at you. Because if you holler at a sister now, I'll holler back. You can ask me what you want to. Say what you will. Because we real talking, y'all. Let me see what you're saying. You're right. You're right, Saku. Yes. The longer you, yep. The longer you deny the, the, the furthest you will be from your healing. And that's absolutely right. You want healing? Yes, indeed. You want healing? Sometimes, like I said, healing, yeah, you can go to the pastor, the deacon, and all these people to pray. But some, you got to go to the doctor. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to share this. Like, for example, I have blood pressure. You know, yes, indeed. They say I'm borderline blood pressure. And I take, I take, a, I take blood pressure pills. Now, I am a preacher and I can pray all day, but guess what? I got good enough sense to know that I've gone to the doctor and he give me blood pressure pills and I can pray all day. But if I do not take those blood pressure pills, I'm going to die. I will be in the heaven and I can't even tell God, why am I here so early? He going to be like, okay, I gave you a life. I gave you a life jacket. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't take it to take the pill else you're going to die. If you got sleep apnea, you better go get that machine. <laughs> Whatever you have, take care take care of your problems. Because guess what? You can pray all day, baby. I'm telling you, take your medication. If you need mental health medication, take it. It's a pill. But it'll do the body good. Because my body, listen, it does a body good. So y'all need to, let's, let's, I want you, all of us to live long life, healthy life. You know, because one thing goes to another thing. It doesn't go away. It doesn't go away. Ladies, go get your mammograms. If, if, if they tell you you have something, guess what? Not knowing is not going to help. It's just going to get worse. Fellas, go take care of your packages. I'm cleaning that thing up, but you know what I mean. Guess what? You can take care of it. You can live long. I know some people that, listen, I, I, I watched them, watch them in those beautiful boxes we call caskets. Why? Because they said, oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm going. I'm just going to pray and God's going to heal me. He is going to heal you. You're going to heal right on up to heaven. Oh, hell, I don't know where some of y'all, I don't know. <laughs> I don't put nobody nowhere. You understand what I'm saying? So anyway, y'all, I'm about to roll up out of here. Let's see what we got going on. Yes, Sarita Wright, she going here, y'all. Look up. She Listen, she got papers. She, that girl always studying something. She knows how that's a counselor. You know, I'm telling you, you need to go and take care of yourself. Dr. Vicki Johnson, like I said, she's amazing, absolutely amazing. And we need to go to the right people for the right things. If you got a toothache, you're going to go to a dentist, right? Come on now. I want all of us to live long, long life, long life. So I'm going to leave y'all on that note. Next week, we're going to talk about what about the children? Oh, y'all, come on. We're going to really get into that. Come on. I'm about to get up out of here. Y'all have all your questions ready. What about the children? What about the children? Come on. That's going to be our next one. What about our children? Come on. All right. I love all of y'all too. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes. Saku, no, it's not for ladies, just for ladies. Counseling is for everybody. Men, woman, boy and girl. Everybody needs counseling. Some of these children, some of these kids will be okay. Take them off this medicine if they had some counseling. Come on, that's going to be our next segment. Next week, we're going to talk about it. What about our children? What about our children? We leave it losing too many of our babies, too many of our babies to medicine. We losing too many of our babies to street. We leaving too many babies to jail. Come on. We, we, we need to do something. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I love you too, Tawana Gills. Love you, love you, girl. All right, I'm about to get up out of here. Y'all like and share. Share and like. Like and share. Holla at a sister. I enjoy, enjoy the time that I'm with y'all. 
Come on, come on. Oh, y'all to feel this. I'm glad a lot of y'all are talking about this music. It's cranking, right? I love it too. And I'd be remiss. And I miss this in all my segments. My husband. Ah, the love of my life. The one and only. Isaac Noble Jr. He makes all this possible, y'all. He cranks it all out. He makes sure the lights is flashing. <laughs> He's so humble. He's so sweet. Y'all know how he is. All right, I'm going to see y'all later. God bless you. And tell your friends, if y'all missed it on live, go back and see me. Put some comments in. But like, share, like, share. Come on. And you can also see me on my YouTube channel. I'll be putting it there, too. Come on, y'all. Make room. God bless you. I love you. Great big hugs of love. And you've been real talking with Lady Dye.